Pinky's a phenomenal person. She lives in the community. She lives for the community. Pinky has put the community and kids that she teaches above herself, and she is a beacon of what is good in the education system and also what can be achieved when one has a passion for sport. My name is Pinky Yulisa. Uh, I was born here in Stellenbosch. I grew up here in Stellenbosch. I started at the school as a remedial teacher, and then I started to teach grade one. And then when I started in this school, I started with the netball. And then netball, leagues, soccer, I was part of the leagues, and then I started to be a sport coordinator of the school since those years till now. And then each and every sport that the people are bringing in at the school, so I was grabbing it. Any sport, I'm grabbing it. I'm Stuart McConnell from the Tag Rugby Association. We've been working in communities in South Africa, developing rugby and prom promoting sport since 1994. We met Ikaya and Pinky through a program that was run by Saru. Pinky was introduced to the program through the Adopter School program. She came onto the program with the school and they took part in a number of clinics. Uh, rugby people invited me to the uh, rugby clinics and then one day, the girl phoned the school, asked me, Pinky, there's a rugby, take rugby. And then I said, I don't know, take rugby, but I'm going, I'll see there. I went there, they do the tech rugby clinics, and then I saw the basics, I came back, only to find that there, there's a school that adopted us in Cape Town. The doctor school program was thought up because we needed to get into schools on a continuous basis. So what the program entails is that a company, an individual or school can adopt an underprivileged school for the period of a year. We come into the school with our qualified coaches, we train up a tag champion within the school and we leave the equipment at the school. So when our coaches are not physically at the school, the champion can run tag when we are not there. <laughs> So, but Kale Angel, Bashan, Jamavislan, Mashanam, Manbuz, and they take rap command, Abandaman is otherwise a little. When they introduced the tech rugby, it changed my mind, and I just thought that the rugby is a nice sport, and I like it. Because before, I thought the rugby is rough. No, no, it's not rough. It's just it, it needs your mind. You must be focused, you must be vigilant. So, that, that, that changed my life. So, each and every child at the school, I told them, take rugby. It's like great art of the real rugby. So the basics in the tech rugby makes me show the kids that this is what is rugby about. And now the kids, when I'm going to the classroom, said, hey guys, I'm going to play soccer. No, miss, when are we going to play rugby? So they, they got that thing to want to play hard rugby. Most of the kids that are here in the school, they stay in the shed, and there's not enough space to play where they stay, because the sheds are close to each other. They are not going to play far away from homes, because they know there's lots of crime here around, there's lots of thieves, there's lots of drugs, people are selling drugs around the community. So that's why they are here at school. They have that environment to have fun when we play. Many of the children in underprivileged communities have two choices. They can either be on the streets where they're exposed to drugs, crime and gangsterism, or they can get involved in sports programs that we run. And in underprivileged areas, sport is an opportunity for many of these talented kids to get themselves out of their current situation and give them opportunities in their lives. I'm not saying every single player on an adopter school program will become a springbok, but through sport, they will be able to create opportunities of employment, of studies, of bursaries, and better themselves and their dependents. Yeah, my dream, I want all those kids that involve in tech rugby play, they must play rugby from the school and take rugby to the high school. From the high school, take rugby to play in the community. They must have the community clubs and be involved in the clubs and the leagues and also be part of the team of Western Cape, and then from part of the team of the Western Cape, national team, from the national team, upwards. 
we're not only teaching them about rugby and the benefits of rugby and how they can improve their rugby skills, but we're introducing them to the benefits of sport. They taught about things like healthy eating, the benefits and importance of studying, appreciation of the opposite sex, the, 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 the ills of drugs and crime. So it's not just about a program that's developing rugby at a grassroots level, but it's getting children involved in sport. I think they learn that teamwork is very important and the respect and the respect other people around you. I think that is a very important thing and be a, 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 and love each other.